everybody. Welcome, Mayor. I hope you're having a nice Monday, or whatever time of day it is for you. I know different time zones and things. Soul Soul, welcome. How are you doing today? Helen, welcome. Doc, you're still here. You guys all didn't abandon me after almost a full week off of streaming. I don't even remember the last time I've done that. I think it might have been August of last year. Um, I blinks, welcome. Hello, it's year three. Thank you so much for nine months. That's a Twitch baby. Thank you. Uh, let me know if I can play something for either of you. Thank you so, so much, you guys. Uh, Scotty, welcome. TMK, Tripwire, Petrie. I know this will come as no surprise for my regulars, but I was a little nervous coming back on after taking a little bit of a break. Um, that being said, it, it really wasn't much of a break. I was I was really, really busy with with music, which is wonderful, and what, you know, of course, I, I want my life to be. It was just jam-packed with rehearsal and prep for my very first Irish gig ever, and I am pleased to say that it was, it was a success. I had a great time. I feel really good about my performance and the music, and it looks like we're going to be doing it again uh, at some point, probably like... I don't know, maybe like a few months from now or something. Um, so I'm really, really happy about that. Right when I got back to the regular schedule, um, I had a four hour rehearsal, like just before this. It was really great. It's for an instrumental ensemble I'm a part of. And it's our second, uh, second to last rehearsal before our first show as an ensemble, which is also really exciting so really really good things um i a part of me wishes that there was more of a break in that break that i took uh, i had again like an absolutely wonderful time but i'd be lying to say i'm not a little bit a uh, little bit a little bit tired but i've really really missed doing this and uh, I don't know how long I'll be going tonight, but I still wanted to come back. And of course, the longer I stay away from something, sometimes the harder it is to like come back. Of all the Irish songs on your list, play the song that's the most Irish. Well, funny, we actually bring that up. Pythagora, thank you for 27 months. Thank you. Kimchi, I gotta put you down, sweetheart. He's like, no the scary lights back on and you're back talking to the computer. That means we can't hang out. Uh, the gig was a few hours and it was a lot of new material that I knew I wouldn't be able to have memorized. So what does that mean? It of course meant a new binder and I am not over-exaggerating when I say that all of this was done in the last week, just learning chord progressions and charts. Uh, these blank pages are actually all right here. Uh, I gave some of the sheet music to some of the other players to uh, make copies of, and I haven't put them back in the order. But this was what I did last week. I just had been learning and transcribing and charting for the Irish gig. Uh, yes, I can show you the stickers. I shared this binder with the lovely, fantastic guitarist who is very near and dear to my heart. And I let him pick some stickers to put on. And he wanted to do this one right here for obvious reasons. And this is the uh, group that I played with right here. Herkle Durkle. Which, I can't remember exactly what they said it meant. It means like, uh, I think it means something about like sitting back and relaxing in Scottish. Which is obviously a concept I'm not very familiar with. Oh my gosh, look at this good boy. Kimchi. Uh, I need to send you some stickers now. Yeah, I mean, you can't just stop after putting three stickers on. It needs to just be covered at this point. And you guys obviously know my violin case is covered with stickers. If anyone 
hasn't seen that, I, I could give you a tour if that would be interesting for y'all. Pencils, thank you so much for 55 months. Thank you so, so much. He is being a bestest boy right now. Oh, it looks like he's biting the scratch tower. That's really innovative, bud. Good job. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> Only a shadow of me. Welcome. Thank you so much for three months. Okay, I guess he's gonna bite his tower, and that's okay. Could that be a reward if we complete a level five? Seeing the stickers of my violin case? Yeah, of course. I guess I have been clearing out that shame closet so much lately. <laughs> have you forgotten how to... How to cat in this room? I have come in here to like do charts and things like that, but I felt like I needed to kind of close the door on the office this past week, um, just to have a bit of a mind switch and and focus on on the gig and prepping for that, as well as oh my gosh, my heart right now. Tripwire tier three and Cathador tier two on top of all the other amazing gifts and time that you give to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Catting can be kind of hard. He's doing a pretty good job though. Dang, you guys are already getting close to level three. Attack of the mods. If this is an attack, then that's lovely. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, Darza, welcome. How are you doing today? CM, thank you for the bits. Pencils for the bits. Uh, Soul Soul for the bits. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, everybody. So yeah, it was a really good week. Um, a very tiring week, but a really good week. And today I have my rehearsal that went well. Allergies are right back to smack me in the face. I did do my vocal warm-ups and um, feel like... The allergies aren't bothering me for singing too much, but then we'll we'll just see how it goes as I continue working through things. Good boy! You are so good. Looks like you've gotten a bit bigger, buddy. I think maybe I should get you a bigger bed. Does that sound nice? I couldn't tell with those. Uh, hey, <laughs> um, the gift. Thank you for a very. Oh, very inappropriate, Dono. But it's still a very appreciated Dono. Thank you for the Dono for 690. I really appreciate you. Celeste, welcome. Um. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get back into things. Uh, let's see, It's it's been a minute, I'll have to figure out where it would be a comfy place to so uh, start. For Murdoch, thank you. For brand new uh, follow, thank you. Only a shadow, thank you. I've been unhupped so long when other people play violin, it just sounds like screeching. I'll, maybe some, I, well, oh my god, I feel bad even saying that. No, I, there's a lot of people who sound nice doing it. <laughs> I was trying to be nice and then I like, unintentionally said something mean. <laughs> Uh, I knocked an accordion out of a street busker's hand the other day. No way. I don't believe you. But if there's something I can play for you, please let me know. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. What should I do? Uh, for Doc, don't worry. I didn't forget about you asking for the most Irish thing. Um, I will admit, most of the stuff in the Irish set, I was prepared to play in an ensemble. And not necessarily on my own, but... Maybe I'll pick one and try and make a loop out of it. It was a couple hours of music, so I was just focused on making sure I could get through everything. Um, how soon is now? Yeah, I can give that a go. A little worried with my voice the way it is, but I'll give it a go. No, 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 not obnoxious at all. Like, you guys know that I've kind of been on a mission lately too with adjusting my mindset on Twitch to not try and be as much of a perfectionist it's obviously something that is very much so uh long or deeply rooted rather in me uh that i'm just working on but 
How about we start with my most comfortable intro, which is um, First Steps from uh, Unravel. I tried violin and banjo, and I'm convinced you either need to be classically trained or hillbilly in order to play. I feel like when it comes to playing the violin, there is a certain degree of guidance in the beginning that will make a drastic change in how easy it will be to pick up. Um, I feel like I shouldn't sugarcoat that. But I also feel like one of the um, ways to get better at violin is having like a musician friend or someone that you trust that plays an instrument to just play with you a lot. Um, whether it's, you know, having a chord chart and just playing through one of your favorite songs, like something simple and easy. I think that learning to play with people is equally important as taking lessons. So for some situations where if you might not be able to get lessons, there's so many good resources online uh, where you can really just like Google specific things that you're trying to figure out, like how to hold the bow or how to um, make certain things easier on the violin and then having someone to play with, it will be uh, more of an encouraging environment to continue to try it. I found piano the easiest to learn since all you have to do is press the button to make a noise and you can't really screw that up. I found for myself the easiest for me to pick up was a uh, guitar for the basics. Everyone has probably their own instrument that they gravitate towards that feels the most comfortable for them. But for whatever reason, the guitar felt fairly comfortable. Um, the violin, I feel like a lot of people don't believe me when I say this, especially after playing it as long as I have. The violin was really a struggle for me. I'm not going to sugarcoat that either. It was it was hard. I That instrument made me cry a lot, and I definitely was told by a lot of people that I should stop trying <laughs> at, at periods of my life. But I just, I had this like insatiable need and just desire and love for the instrument that I had to, I had to keep trying. Kimchi, I'm so proud of you. You were being a little bit of a crazy boy when I got back from my long rehearsal today. He was jumping on counters, he was screaming, he was knocking things over. Like, I know we're at the top of stream and I don't want to embarrass you, but you were kind of being a bad boy. You were being a bit of a naughty boy. Maybe I'll just say you were needy. You are being very needy. Uh, for JoJo, thank you for the reset for 47 months. Oh my goodness, some of you guys are really climbing up there with these months. That's wild. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, JoJo. And for the raids and all the amazing support that, you know, you've you shown me over all this time. And please let me know if I can play you something. Um, for Yazili Click, thank you as well for 14 months over a year. Thank you very, very much. And please let me know if I can play you something as well. I do have my priority list open over here. I see we got Starship Mario and how soon is now if it's okay for only a shadow i think i'll do like maybe four or five and then give how soon is now a go and at some point i will do the irish stuff probably after those excuse me i've noticed uh which artists truly understand how the fingering can definitely be <laughs> let's say difficult it can be a uh, can be particular but yes, it can be it can be frustrating. But I feel like it sounds silly, but with a uh, <laughs> no fun. But with the violin, I found that I started making the most progress with it when I started treating it like almost like singing. Because when you're singing, you have to like think of what note you're gonna sing before you actually project the note. And a lot of people with violin. I think expect to have their hand just kind of memorize where to go, muscle memory. But you really got to think about what you're aiming for and it really helps you play in tune. I know that sounds like maybe like it might not connect in the same way as singing, but I, I found 
that shift in my mind to be extremely helpful with getting me to play, play better. Oh, I have to get used to my settings again. I might be twists and knobs here and there. I'll do my best. Katana, welcome, affectionate scar. That's true, affectionate scar, yeah. Yes, I have to like memorize the shapes to get the pitch right. song back in a week feeling pretty okay just gonna adjust my headphone volume a bit it looks like the obs volume was okay uh for tam lynn that's one of my irish ones that's perfect luckily as you guys know i already had that one learned before the gig there was like at least uh, i feel like i don't want to get too boring about describing it um there was a handful of songs that i had learned before but what's really tricky about Celtic music and fiddle music in general is there is that there's not a correct way of doing it. Um, there's almost always, 
I can't even give a number to how many variations of songs that there are. There's one song, but each player kind of does it in their own way. So as I was going through all the stuff trying to learn it, I would watch at least three to four players like I could find on YouTube that uh, who's playing I enjoyed and I would watch how they did it and write notes of what they did that was different and unique and kind of through that put together my own favorite way to play it. But I was also playing with accordion and another violinist and a flautist all playing the melody at different times so it was really tricky to kind of find the balance of how to learn these songs in a way that felt traditional um, while at the same hand getting, how many people were there? Six of us to play in unison enough with each other. So that was a interesting kind of curveball that was new for me to experience. I'm also noticing that my bow needs a bit more rosin. I've been playing a lot lately, so that doesn't surprise me. I don't even remember the last time I rosin. Um, for King, welcome. How does the pitch of the bow change the sound? So with the bow, there's actually a lot of different factors that change the sound. So one is where are you playing location-wise on the string? The sound post for the violin, which is what vibrates to make the whole wood vibrate so you can hear it, is right here under this part, the bridge. So by playing close to the bridge, it gets louder. In the middle, it's going to be softer, and towards the fingerboard, it's even softer. And then, if you play with the side of the hair, you can see how it's tilted. It's going to be a bit... Um, it's hard to explain... It can be quieter, but almost a bit more smooth sounding, I would say. And if you play with flat hair, it's a bit more crunchy and a bit uh, thicker sounding. And then there's how hard you press on the string with your arm or your wrist or your hand and how fast you move the bow. So those four things together change the sound with just using the bow. So there's a lot to kind of consider when you're playing, if you wanna make a certain sound or vibe kind of come out. It takes a lot of, I guess, just kind of messing around with it, especially without music and taking the time to just listen and ask yourself, okay, what did I did, or what did I do rather that made it, um, that made it sound different or in a way that I enjoyed what physically happened to make that happen. Uh, yeah, of course. I love answering music questions. It's fun. Does a troll live under the bridge? I think with violins, things are usually pretty clear. Unfortunately, with guitars, obviously, you can drop the picks in there a lot. So I feel like if there was a troll to live under a bridge in the instrument family, it would probably be the guitar. For um, Bad Ninja Beast, welcome. Uh, thank you for the bits. Hello, friend. Glad you're back at music stuff again uh, to see it or rather hear it. Thank you. It's good to be back. I always get a little nervous coming back to Twitch after a break. And last week was one of the longest breaks I've taken from Twitch really since I started four years ago, which is kind of crazy. Um, some time I'll probably give myself two weeks Maybe before the end of the year, I might wait till next year, but we'll see. Um, just to like, you know, get that reset button that is really important for making sure that you're keeping a good mind when moving forward with what you're pursuing, you know? I think for streamers, there's a lot of fear of stepping away from streaming is, you know, being a streamer, especially making it a career, is a, is a numbers game. And by stepping away, those numbers go down every single day. And it's hard to allow yourself to be okay with that, you know? Uh, for Bionic Holiday, uh, Heidi and Dylan, I love those two so much. Fire Kid and on Twitch, uh, Mary Hill. Were they, were they showing the new track? 
it's not a surprise, so I know I'm not spoiling anything, but I have a new track coming out with Fire Kid. I did the uh, Sonic arrangement that you got. I didn't do the arrangement. I recorded on it as well as one of their originals. And I just, I love those two. There's a link to it in chat if you want to keep it. They did a little bit, but not much. Oh, that means it's coming out soon. I'm very excited to show you guys. Um, I see we have Mr. Tillman put in there. Very welcome, never be but nervous. I'll try. I'm just a nervous person. <laughs> I'm happy putting my pants on the right way in the morning and Joe is explaining all the steps to play violin. I'll explain anything you want to know that I can help with with music. I like the flannel very stardew of you. Thank you. This is actually part of a set I just got. Um, I ordered a couple of thrifty thrift store things. And this one comes with like a matching skirt, which I thought was really cool. But the top is just so short. Like the skirt, I guess, goes to like here. So I guess it wants to like show a little midriff, but I feel like in my opinion. I want my flannels to be cozy and something I can just, you know, put on and feel comfy. Uh, so the fact that this is so small, I was just like, oh, kind of bummed. But, you know, I just got it used and cheap. So I can't really be upset about that. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to get rosin, which is in my violin case. I'm going to grab that real quick. I don't need to leave the room though, it's just like right there. I don't know if you could see it, but when I lifted the violin, the strap hit kimchi. Not hard, it's like a strap, but you know, it's just not like plastic or anything. But it bopped his little head. He was very frustrated, but not enough to leave, which is a relief. Um, after talking about myself for so long, if anyone has anything they want to share about what they were up to this last week, I would, I would love to hear it. No pressure if you're Happy just chilling, but I like to hear what you guys are up to too, especially if there's something you're excited about or feel good about. I haven't rosin for like five days and I've been playing so much, so I gotta get a good amount on here. So it's really weird uh, for rosin, for <laughs> people who don't know, like uh, if you buy a violin bow, and there's no rosin on it, no matter how hard you push into the string, no sound comes out at all. Like nothing. Even if you press as hard as you can, if there's no rosin on a brand new bow, it is silent. And the reason for that is that the rosin is sticky, kind of like tree sack. And when you drag the bow across it, the rosin grips, yeah, the string to pull out that sound. Um, but when I used to work retail at a music store, I sold violins as part of my work. And I had so many people be like, I'm returning this violin, it's broken, it doesn't work. And I kind of knew what the issue was before they said anything. But I was like, all right, let's take a look. They're like, see, the bow doesn't make sound. I'm like, I remember telling you this when you bought it. Is with a new bow, you have to rosin it, believe it or not, for like at least 30 minutes. I might be getting the time frame wrong, but it's like a long period of time. You have to just sit there and rosin the bow. And sometimes what's really helpful is if you take something sharp, like even just the key ridge and you uh, make scratches so you can see how mine's vertical like that I took a key and I kind of scratched uh, vertical lines 
And then your bow can actually get in there and there's loosened up rosin that can grab onto it quicker. But yeah, I had at least like five people tell me that their violin was broken. And I was like, no, you just bought an instrument and didn't listen to how it works, if I'm being honest. I didn't say that, but. I love uh, new bows, but God, that first rosin was always horrible. Yeah, I, I always would just like put on a TV show and sit there and just rosin, rosin, rosin. By the way, thank you, Slow Chase, for the follow. I really appreciate it. I know I'm slow to get started since I haven't been live in a week. I just kind of wanted to sit and talk a bit. Rockin' the LaCroix. Let's see here. Danny, welcome. The Final Fantasy VII Orchestra isn't coming to Nashville, but I bought 2025 tickets for the one in St. Louis. Very nice. I've driven by St. Louis a lot, but I've actually never had a gig there. That's the city with like the big arch, right? Because I always drive past and I see it when I've been on my way for tours, like if I'm heading up to Chicago or uh, the Midwest, like Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, but I haven't played there yet. Maybe one day. Starship Mario 1. I mixed two Mario songs up with each other. More Midwest shows, please. I am fairly certain, Jove, that before the end of the year, I might have an Irish run up there. You know you'll be one of the first to know. Let's see here. Comet Observatory, that's always what I mix up with it, okay. So with this one, I, oh, hey, for that MS Gamer, thank you. Thank you very much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Welcome Raiders, my name's Joe. Um, I do in fact play violin. I also play a lot of other instruments and uh, loop them to make covers, originals, instrumentals, and more video game music. Um, so if any of that interests you, I hope you consider hanging out. I play like banjo, bass, guitar, sing. New Hampshire shows one. I would love that. Like, I've mentioned it before, but New England has my heart. A uh, part of me wants to retire. I mean, obviously that's a long way away, but when I'm like really old and I've done my journey and of hitting the road hard with music, I would really like to retire in Maine. I think it's really beautiful up there. I also really like New Hampshire. I've considered moving there. I just really like the trees and the weather and skiing and the lakes and yeah, I, I really love it up there. So who knows? Maybe I could like book a tour. This is not even close to being put in the book so I don't want to get everyone, anyone all excited now, but Maybe one day I can like fly home and do a couple shows in the Cape of Massachusetts where my parents live and maybe go up to my favorite states <laughs> with like going to New Hampshire and Vermont and Maine or something. But you know I have to make sure I go up in the fall because that is the best place to experience the fall in my humble opinion. Um, since we have these raiders, why don't I do one more playing piece? I'm gonna do just like a chill uh, Final Fantasy moment. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no! For Cathador, of course I, of course I will do that as well. I also really like um, Rhode Island. I used to go to Providence a lot. There's actually really good show culture in Providence, Rhode Island, so maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Anyway, let's do a quick one. I kind of want to do Farm Boy from Final Fantasy VII. And then we have a handful of loops. We actually, for Petri, you requested a loop I think I've only done once before. So that will be exciting and a bit scary for me, but good for me.
taking a little bit of time away from Twitch, I found myself kind of looking back on everything that I've done on here. And I remember those like first couple months that I started streaming where I never, I feel like, I feel like I never, I didn't attach as much self-worth to my streams back then because it felt like the stakes weren't as high. And I really want to do my best to get back to that place. Um, obviously, it's, it's a wonderful, amazing thing getting to have Twitch now be a part of my career. And, you know, I'll admit that most of my income is from Twitch at this point in my life. Um, and with that, I have admittedly attached too much self-worth with that as I see that number change as numbers naturally do. So I'm really determined to like really look inside myself and find those feelings where I wasn't worried about that much with that focus and reconnecting with what those other feelings were that are still there, but I think they got clouded by just, yeah, just putting too much worth on things that probably aren't worth it as much in general. This is a Juke Remix rendition. Yoshi, thank you. Uh, Yoshi's Mitsu, as well as, um, oh, my lady. Didn't think I would get that, <laughs> especially after a week off. Who is this girl? Um, uh, only a shadow, thank you for the bits. As well as Ramzevi? No. Ramzevi. Ramzevi. I don't think any of those were right. My apologies. Don't worry, Blinks, I will come back to doing this piece. But first, I would actually like to do this one without the track real quick. 
Uh, I am aware that I do have a list of uh, songs on the priority list. I am going to focus on that after I just do one more pass of this to try and get my grounding back a bit. And uh, just thanks, guys. Yeah. Okay. So I want to play this a bit smoother. sound issue? I don't think uh, the camera's picking it up, <laughs> but after putting on all that rosin, it's just like bursting out in these little clouds around my face. <laughs> and I'm already having allergy stuff. I'm like, get out of here. Uh, I know that was quite particular of me, but that's kind of, I guess, a little bit of a look into how I practice on my own when I'm not like, you know, obviously live or playing a show. There's a lot of focus on double stops so just when I play two notes at the same time is then I can hear if they're in tune with each other I noticed two other things that I want to focus on today this is mostly for myself but again if it helps other people practice or kind of break things down then I think it might be interesting I need to focus on pressing my fingers down 
harder and all at once. I'm trying to like slowly put them down, which is making a uh, swell into it and it doesn't sound as good. So I need to do that. And I need to let my arm be a bit heavier. I'm not pressing in the string enough. Um, I'm also going to turn on the air, believe it or not, really quick. It's starting to heat up here in Nashville. But when I come back, we'll jump right into Starship Mario. And then I might as well do these in the order they are. I'm going to do Starship Mario, How Soon Is Now, Tam Lin, and Mr. Tillman. Oh, I thought of something. It's not the most Celtic thing, but I wrote a harmony to one of the most like iconic violin songs ever. It's more of an Appalachian tune, but it's really pretty. So maybe I'll try that as a loop today. So I think I have everything I need. I just need to grab my iPad that I use for rehearsal. But first things first, let's make sure I have Starship Mario. For HD, welcome. Undercover Dragon, welcome as well. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I have like a bit of walnut. Or no, almond. That's driving me nuts. Get out of my teeth. I appreciate the sustenance. But get out of there. I think I put it back here. noodle on the piano for a moment before I turn the air conditioning on and see I kind of remember this by looking at it probably an F in the bass or no it's a C FOMO activated Wait, FOMO for what? What did I do? What FOMO have I activated? So let's do the right hand first. It has, oh, octaves of C. I see. So if I do it down here, B flat. Oh, but then it goes to B flat major. Yeah, and back to an A, uh, F. And then G minor. Major. So good news is maybe what I can do when I do this is a loop. I don't have to sight read it perfectly if I just keep this like, oh, harpsichord, damn you. I forgot that you're like my natural setting on this keyboard for some damn reason. Get out of here. Okay, as long as I keep this rhythm where I play two low notes and then the high by itself. Okay, I feel like I've given myself enough confidence to give this a sincere go. We did like, I've been encouraging myself to do more of these like almost live learns where I'll write the melody or like the skeleton of some things out, but then otherwise do it on my own. Sometimes this might result in a longer loop, but you know, I want to go easy on myself for doing my first loop back regardless, so... Maybe this will be the vibe. Uh, this might mean it takes me a, a bit longer to get to priority requests. So why don't we plan advance by uh, pausing the request for now? 
uh, I'm just, you know, just trying out new things to make sure I'm listening to what people want for the channel and also continuing to push myself. I hope it doesn't disappoint anybody if I just close the request for a bit. We just have a fairly full queue, and I think all these are going to take me a little bit of planning. So, um, I have my Ableton open. This is in 4.4. And before we get into that, like I said, I'm just going to run out in the hall and turn on the air conditioning. Nashville's getting hot already, and especially uh, this is the upstairs room, which is just a little bit warmer. So I'm just going to run out in the hallway for just a moment. I'll put the Be Right Back screen on, and when we come back, we're going to give this, uh, give this a go. I'll do my best. Thanks, guys. Only a shadow. With your appreciation of the accordion, I figured that you might actually like the harpsichord. Or maybe I shouldn't say that because then you're going to ask me to add it into things. <laughs> Which could be a cool vibe, but also, I don't, it might not be my most natural uh, creative tone to work with. Exactly, Nova Sun. You guys get me. <laughs> uh, the South is about to hit 90 degrees and higher. Oh, we're also in cicada season. I can't remember how often it happens down south, but I've seen all my friends in Tennessee posting about it. And I saw my first one stuck on my window like, uh, what are they called? I hate forgetting easy words like this. Screen. It was just like clung up against the screen. And if you don't know what a cicada is, they're freaking big boys. They're like that freaking big. They don't gross me out too much, but it does suck sometimes when you're walking outside or running because they'll just fly right into you and it kind of hurts because they're so big. It's just like, bang! I've definitely gotten hit in the face running a few times. And yeah, I guess I they don't creep me out, but naturally if anything hits you in the face, especially a living creature with little crawly leggies, it's, uh, it's a little alarming, a little alarming. Each cicada species has a cycle that hits every 9 to 13 years. So has it really been that long since the last surge of them? I just heard, all, again, all my Tennessee friends talking about it. But Okay. <laughs> I mean, no one wants to be hit in the face, especially by a bug. True. Yeah. I, I feel like that's something we can probably all agree on. Right, folks? Unless you're into some weird stuff. Oh! That's not a PG joke. I try to be a PG channel. I apologize. I'm going to listen to the recording real quick and see what their percussion sounds like. Maybe we can replicate it together in Ableton. So let's take a listen. Lovely little intro. No percussion yet. So maybe I'll just do the hi-hat count that I have. see where it takes us I might just not do percussion once I get like the maybe guitar first in there and we'll go from there <laughs> sorry I B popped out oh a B popped out of uh my contact once on a run oh you mean like a hit like your eyeball oh I don't like that none bits no 
I'm very fortunate where I've only gotten stung by a bee once in my life. I remember it, though. I was in kindergarten, which says a lot because you don't remember much from kindergarten. But I remember that damn bee sting. It got me right on the top of my head. And it was summer. And I was walking with my mom and we were under a tree and it happened. And I was like, I grabbed a fence, uh, fence and got stung by a wasp uh, on the inside of my middle finger. Oh, it sounds like that wasp was trying to tell you something. Actually, I did get stung one other time. I was playing um, chess with my dad. And like we had this like a it was like a table almost this high. And we would just put pillows on the floor and sit and play chess with each other. And I put my hand on the ground leaning like this while playing. And I just so happened to put my hand on a dying wasp. But it was alive enough where it stung my hand. Just like in our living room. <laughs> I was so shocked. It was like, what? And just looked and saw it. was like, oh my god. The heck? I mean, the fact that the little guy had that much energy still left in him, I feel like I have to respect it, you know? Another weird bug problem we get in Tennessee, probably not only Tennessee, so let me know if you guys get it too, is like when ladybugs hatch, some houses get ladybug infestations that are so bad that there's like a whole wall just covered with freaking ladybugs. And I'm sure at first, blings! Oh, that was kind of in tune with my yell. Blings! I can't replicate it. Um, blings, thank you! Thank you so much! Even though the naughty number's still in there, uh, we can ignore that part. Thank you, blings, thank you so, so much. I know you like Mr. Tillman and that's already in there, but I definitely can promise you more Final Fantasy. I already promised you one on the horizon, but uh, I, I know that you already know this, but if there's something I can play for you, please let me know. And thank you so much. Um, I got a few ladybugs here in Virginia when they hatch. Like they definitely show up around the house, but luckily not enough to like make a pseudo moving wallpaper of ladybugs like some houses get down here. <laughs> Sorry if I gave you guys the heebie-jeebies with this bug talk. So if I do the rhythm of this, uh, Ale, thank you for the follow. So this has like only three beats of notes for the accompaniment. So I think if I do the first two together, that's kind of good, right? A minor. Start there. It's she. Okay. Mike input. I'm trying to. <laughs> hey, the number. Oh, but the number didn't change enough. It's still naughty at the end. You did that on purpose with such a specific number. Uh, but in all seriousness, thank you for the dead wasp soul for the $9.79. Um, also, you guys, very exciting. I did order my new cosplays for my birthday last week. Uh, a few of you helped me achieve some of my cosplay dreams and helped me uh, get enough where I could buy two new cosplays. I'm really excited about. I'm going to get the vault tech suit from... Um, fallout which i'm very excited about and i'm ordering a garnet slash dagger cosplay from final fantasy 9 which i'm very very excited about so thank you seeing uh blink seeing your generous donation reminded me because i know that you were really important for helping that happen as well so thank you um i'm so excited to get to show you guys and of course i will be playing 
the fallout theme while I wear the fallout jumpsuit on stream. I, I might also learn one of the old timey singing songs is for those who know me, you know, I really like old timey singing songs. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, let's try this. I have no idea where it's going, but I'm just gonna trust the process and you guys. Oh, it's on input one. That's why no sound waves are happening. My bad. Okay. There it is. I should put the mic farther away to get those scratches out of there. <laughs> I have tried a thumb pick. I'm not very good at it. Are you a guitarist for Murdoch? I'm just gonna try again. I gotta be patient if I wanna make this right. For Murdoch, uh, what kind of style do you do? I'm guessing kind of alternate picking. but I think I'm going to slow it down just a little bit because there's more sections to record. so distracting. I know I'm being a slow poke. I want to get this sounding nice though for you.
trying to put an A in the bass, so I guess I'd have to release the bar chord there. instead. very soon. I'm just being really particular.
I will record more bowed violin, but I just want to take my time with this and make something pretty. So I think it needs some more like structured chords to keep it in line with each other. Maybe. That's so loud. <laughs> oh, I see why. Okay. Let's noodle on the piano and find something.
instrument should I add next to you guys? What do you think? I kind of want to add the bass, just like long notes. Or I could do pizzicato doing it so it would match. That might be a better idea. The washboard? We could add that. Let's do banjo, yeah. Let me get the, uh, I'll do the pizzicato notes and drop them an octave so it sounds like an upright bass. No harpsichord. <laughs>
I found it. <laughs> okay.
Uh, welcome raiders. Thank you, Drum Ultima, for the raid. I was taking my time trying to build this Super Mario loop. I'm just kind of figuring that out as I go. I promise I do play violin, though. So why don't I get that out? I do want to add mandolin to this, too, I think. How was your stream for Drum Ultima? Also, is that the artist formerly known as SPG in my chat?
a bit smoother, and then that means I need to press pedal two. Jam on the piano. Or actually. 
actually, we had drum ultima raid. So let's add some percussion, right? safe to take my time on a loop. Um, also for Murdoch, thinking about you playing on the piano and your daughter dancing is so magical. It makes me so happy. If she can hear me, hi, you're dancing beautifully. Keep it up. And you're wonderful. And you can do whatever you set your mind to.
Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. It's uh, admittedly been a really hard and scary shift for me to allow myself to take that long attempting a loot. Um, as I've continued to grow on Twitch, I, I kind of made up this rule for myself in my head where I was like, you can't take too long on things anymore or else everyone's going to leave. But I'm realizing if I keep that mindset, I'm going to burn out. Like there's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with it. And if I keep trying to do this, I know I'll get faster at putting them together. So I hope you guys give me a chance to get used to this new kind of style that I'm going for. Um, it's really vulnerable trying to figure out something live in front of everybody. But I'm feeling like I'm feeling a bit more of like my spark of when I first started streaming by just approaching it in a new light. Um, you know, I'd be lying to say that I'm not scared that it's going to affect the channel and everything, but I need to get better at prioritizing myself a bit. And I got to focus on what makes me feel happy being on here is that I'm not even being genuine as a streamer if I'm not happy. Don't get me wrong, like, with my typical format, I love doing that stuff too, but I want to mix this stuff in there too. Um, so thank you guys for being such a safe and supportive place for me to, to try this out, and I'm really determined, I really feel like I can do this, where I can be someone that can just, is able to make something from nothing without a plan, quickly and efficiently. I still have so many songs on the song list and I feel feel very bad I haven't been able to go about this faster, but I can do this. So we're going to keep going and, you know, treat tonight as kind of an experiment and maybe a lot of my streams in the future is an experiment. I'll always try to do my best to keep things as entertaining and educational and insightful as I can um, as I can I said can't that's I guess a bit of the other part of my mind working against me I will do the best I can y'all and uh, I feel like this is an important part of my journey so I'm going to do my best and thank you for being encouraging with me trying something new that being said believe it or not we've only uh, we've it's the other side of my brain talking again we've already been going almost two hours. I know I've only played a handful of songs, um, but I'm going to, oh my god. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I was never good at handling this, but even after a break, I'm even worse at it now and I don't know what to say. <laughs> so I just go down here. Oh! I've like. <laughs> I've like. Oh my god! My weekly goal is done! Are you kidding me? Dude! <laughs> thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Maybe I'll try and be brave and try and do a Final Fantasy VII loot. I don't think I've ever done one of those before. Are you going to play Hades 2? The soundtrack is peak. I will definitely listen to it. I've listened to uh, the Hades soundtrack on my own, uh, like just for like enjoyment while I'm working. I wasn't sure how I would apply it to stream, whether I try and like improvise over it or do something else. For Doc, I think I'm going to keep the Sailor Moon ones. They just make me so happy. I do miss Renoa popping up when I get a follow. Or I guess she still comes out. Does she? I can't remember anything anymore. Um, for Murdoch. Still not sure how any of that works. Have to read up on that tonight. You're wonderful. Thank you. Just need to worry less about what everyone else thinks when it comes to playing. Uh, if you can get over that stage fright, then this should be pretty easy. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Um, it's been a, a very long journey, as many of my regular followers know. I'm kind of finding the balance of accepting that as a part of myself and also 
learning how to get over it. Um, I have a lot of anxiety and things like that, but I've grown a lot and I'm going to keep working towards it. It would be nice if I could have said that I gotten over it in these past four years on Twitch, but at least it's a lot better. And it's going to get better. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to do it. Right, Kimchi? He's being such a good boy. <laughs> um, it's hard to see him, but that's my cat, Kimchi, by the way. Anyway, I usually take a break after an hour and a half, but I was having so much fun with that that I just kept going. And that in itself is an answer for myself for making sure I continue to pushing towards this. Thank you, everybody, again. I know I'm a bit of a rambly overshare. I should probably put that in my about me. Anyway, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. <laughs> Love you guys.
For only a shadow? Is it okay if I do the other two before How Soon Is Now? Because I might take my time with How Soon Is Now and I kind of want to space that out, if that's okay. Oh my gosh, you are such a good boy. I gotta give him a hug, I'm so proud of him. So kimchi is, uh, that's kimchi, by the way. He's less than a year old, and um, I've still been, like, uh, you know, like, teaching him some of the rules of the house. I know, I mean, I'm stealing kimchi's pets. I bet it appeared right on my head, didn't it? <laughs> um, uh, shoot, what was I saying? It's gone. Less than a year? Yeah, I got kimchi at the beginning of this year. Kimchi was born January, January 1st. He's a New Year's baby. And you can't get a kitten until they're, you know, like I think four year, four months old, maybe? This is uh, my first stream and you are a delightful soul. Thank you. Thank you guys. Ugh, I feel like I took some chains that I've had I've put on myself on stream and kind of just undid them a bit by letting myself take my time. I feel like I need to say these out loud so I can remind myself. Not getting overwhelmed by the song list and if there's songs on the list that I'm intimidated by. And knowing I can stop the cue at any point. I think I need to hold on on those. Is don't poop on the carpet a rule in the house? No, that one, we just, for both of us, that's fine. Um, the main thing is I don't want him jumping on the counter. He is, that's where, like, I cook and I chop vegetables when I do things and, you know, he jumps on it and that's gross. Joe Cleary, Breaker of Chains. That's a Game of Thrones reference, right? It's been a while since I've been watching that. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is Mr. Tillman, yes, I have that arrangement locked and I will do it quickly. Number two, I'll do Tamlin and Mason's apron. Yes, I just did my Celtic gig this past week and I think the Celtic stuff's fresh under my fingers. Given though, when I did Tamlin, I paired it with two different songs. So I might have to remember Mason's apron. I think I have it though. And then we'll go from there. DCD, what's up? I'm just smiling, seeing our regular folk welcome in other regular folk. It's really sweet. You guys are always so kind to each other. Definitely not something I take for granted. <laughs> Sorry, all I heard was Mr. Tillman. <laughs> so for anyone that's new, Mr. Tillman is a loop on this channel that's kind of become a channel favorite, both with myself and people who come back to the stream. It's kind of a another important piece of advice, I guess, I have for anyone that's trying to pursue not only art, but I guess anything that you feel passionate about. And that is to make a song list or at least make sure that a part of what you are pursuing is composed of things that you really like. Yes, I was nervous when I added this one to the song list that people wouldn't like it because it's kind of a weird song. But I just like kind of weird songs. <laughs> and uh, I was really pleased to see that people really liked it as well. So um, this computer had a hiccup, so I'm just restarting it real quick. Who got these little ears? Do you think uh, some people now associate the song Mr. Tillman more with you than Father John Misty? Not to sound full of myself, but I think probably because one of the beauty with like uh, 
being a music streamer is that you get to introduce songs to people. And this one seemed kind of like a, you know, like a song that you wouldn't hear as much on like the top 100 list. So with that, I think that there was a lot of people that hadn't heard of it. The only reason I heard about this song was because I was recording for an artist here in Nashville. I do a lot of freelance work down here as well. And I was talking to the songwriter and I was like, your voice sounds so much like Father John Misty's to me. And he's like, oh, I haven't listened to Father John Misty. Can you send me something? And so I just put on, you know, a Spotify playlist of Father John Misty songs. And on random, this one came on and I put it on repeat and I listened to the damn thing probably 30 times in a row. Because that's what I do when I find a song I like. I feel like I like dissect it to understand why I like it. Is that then it gives you more tools in your tool belt as a musician to figure out how to make songs you like by finding out chord progressions you like and intervals and melodies and you know beats. That's been a really awesome thing that I've gotten to learn as a looper is that by learning all the different instruments I've started to figure out bass lines that I like and piano parts and drum grooves because I have to recreate them here with you guys. I don't have to, I get to. Anyway, let's get this one going. Like I said, this is a loop that I've really locked in, so it should be a quick build. Knock on wood. Okay, plugged in the bass, we'll start there. For this loop, I did pre-record the guitar. Uh, I do that for certain loops to help it move along a bit faster. For pacing reasons for both of us, I try to have a variety of, you know, things that go a bit faster and things that are a bit slower. And then of course, mixing in me playing over tracks to, to kind of give a variety of different feels to the channel. I want to keep it interesting for all of us, you know? Also, only Shadow, thank you uh, when you said you were along for the ride and uh, that stuff that made me feel a lot better about changing the song list around, so thank you. Let's turn down this kick drum a bit. Guitar a bit. Go ready. One, two, your dream for bums pencils that's a good dream if that's the case always <laughs> sounds like the auto monitors on so let's drop that Is that emote with the cat bopping. His name was Baloo.
Mr. Tillman. Please report to the front desk. There seems to be an issue with your reservation. Once again, Mr. Tillman. Mr. Tillman for... Nope. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Tillman, good to see you again. There's a few outstanding charges just before we check you in to see you. You left your passport in the mini fridge and the message with the desk says here the picture is in his indulgence. A reminder that our policy don't leave your mattress in the rain if you sleep on the balcony. Okay, did you and your guests have a pleasant stay? What a beautiful tattoo that your man had on his face. And oh, will you need a driver? We're back, I got it now, I think. <laughs> okay. Mr. Tillman for the seventh time, we have no knowledge of a film that is being shot outside. There's aren't extras in a movie that are clients and no, they all close in minds and they aren't exactly filled with you like a Ricardo on the Filming for the seventh time We have no knowledge of a film That is being shot outside Those aren't extras in a movie There are blind tell No, they are rose and lines And they aren't exactly filled with you like A regalo on the radio Yes, I saw I want to think of Perhaps we shouldn't drink on no.
that one being one of my like most done songs on the channel it was so funny like getting reacquainted with it after taking a week off of streaming i was like what buttons do i press where no um for murdoch i was saying actually at the beginning of the stream i think it was before you got here that someone was asking about like whether it was possible to like learn how to play the violin without lessons or something in that realm. And I was saying that one of the best things you can do to get better at music is just r as regularly as possible, like find people to play with. And what you're doing with just, yeah, like playing along to random tracks as they're building in loops and stuff like that is such a good way to uh, up your game for anyone else who's looking to get better with their music skills like streaming is actually a really good tool to follow some music streams you like and just see what you can figure out I have been considering putting up chords at certain times for particular songs or just calling them out for anyone that might want to play along and test out those sort of a thing um, but yeah yeah like I I remember one of my first like really happy memories on stream was when someone told me that they were singing along at home or playing along with me and the romantic musician inside of me was just like oh my god that is such a beautiful thing to like think about you know that you're in different parts of the world and you can still play music with someone exactly only shadow so a while back on stream, I made this um, groove using a tambourine and I dropped it a couple of octaves. Or no, I actually only dropped it, I guess, four half steps. So two whole steps. <laughs> to make it sound like a bow ron, which is a Irish drum. And I'm going to use this to play on top of my fiddle stuff because we have a request for a Celtic tune. I just read your bio and I applied to Berkeley way back in the day. I didn't end up going there because I couldn't afford Boston. It's really expensive. The school itself is too. I love your story of starting uh, in voice and re-auditioning for violin as your principal. Thank you. It was scary. It was really hard. Um, as I grabbed my violin to get ready, for those who don't know uh, my violin journey, I played when I was younger. Uh, for a good chunk of time and then I quit because my teacher was really discouraging and she made me feel like I'd never ever get better and that I wasn't good at music so I quit and then I kept singing I've always liked singing and I got into Berkeley as a vocalist but when I saw the string department I just fell in love and I was like I need to get in this program I need to p pick up the violin again and so I started practicing every day and buying uh, the best players at school coffee and being like can you play with me for an hour and just ask some questions and I ended up re-auditioning and getting in on violin but barely barely they told me they're like this isn't gonna be easy for you and I was like that's okay and it was really hard but I'm really happy that I did it because I don't think there's any chance I'd be doing all this stuff if I didn't put myself in that uncomfortable position um but anyway, I know a lot of you guys have heard that story a lot. So let's do some Irish fiddling. Yes, I had my first Irish gig ever last weekend. Um, I'm 
I'm not going to lie. I've thought about the different Twitch name a lot because I'm spending so much more time on other instruments and... Oh, wait, that just got way slower. Dun duck 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 da 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 Is my kick on the offbeat? I guess yeah. Okay, that's fine. Anyway. Let's go. New name Jojo Amazing. I could never accept such a compliment of a name. I have to see myself like that first. Getting there. Um, for the Irish gig I did last weekend, I did my classical bow hold. For Celtic music, people tend, and fiddle in general, instead of using all of your fingers like that, that's like a typical classical bow hold. Celtic, you hold it with only these three fingers up here. And the reason for that is it's heavy on the bow here. So if you do it up here, it's a lot lighter and you can move faster, but it feels really weird for me to still get used to. Maybe I'll try one more. This was the binder 
I took uh, last week of Twitch streaming off because I was filling this entire binder up with all the songs I had to learn for my gig. Let's see. Let's do Sean Ryan's Polka, followed by The Red-Haired Boy. I feel like I remember liking these ones. Should the same tempo be good? Let's see. <laughs> Accidental bell ringing. So then it would be all right let's try this with the new bow hold i'm getting used to for celtic stuff And it's so much scarier playing it without the band behind me <laughs> where it's just me uh, this past weekend when I did it at the gig we had an accordion player another violinist um, guitars and uh, a flautist as well and we also admittedly played it a bit slower let's all head down to the punt for a pint or three dude I fell 
so deeply in love with playing Irish music after that gig because like, you know, I, I've mostly played with bands and things like that. Um, like and more in the rock arena where you're on a stage and you're like really like playing a character and like trying to convince the audience to like you and like get them excited. But with Irish music, you just get to sit in a corner and play and face each other. You don't have to oversell the music or like, you know, just, I don't want to say showboat because like, I don't want that to sound like that's how I feel when I play on stage, but it's just much more casual. And there was moments where I looked up during the gig and I would see like a mom with like her like less than a year old baby just like bouncing in the, in the air like this and the kid just had the biggest smile on the face uh, on his face and and people like had their dogs outside hanging out looking through the window and it was just so cool and when it comes to me like planning my music career as I continue to just get older and have things change if I can keep that as a part of my income and world it would just make me so happy I would love to like have people go to the pub with their friends every weekend and be like oh that's Joe she plays the violin you know come to an Irish jam in uh, NYC I mean pencils I've been I've been learning a whole lot I learned two more uh, last night I was having trouble go to bed so of course that's what I did you'll never get me lucky charms is it weird that makes me think of Austin Powers more than the cereal? <laughs> also, this might keep be controversial. I tried to watch that movie again recently and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I used to play a lot for the dance team in high school and I love being on stage. Now I just do open mic nights at Molly's Pub in Houston. I've only been to Texas before to play uh, South by Southwest, and it was super freaking fun, but I really want to go to Texas again when, you know, I can get more of an authentic look at, like, just the day-to-day -day life there, because South by Southwest is such a huge festival weekend that I know it's not the most proper view of the city. But yeah, pencils, if I come to NYC, I can have this whole binder and you can play guitar with me too. And we can, we can carry on the Irish world tradition. I'm about to make people very upset. I have never seen Wayne's World. So before I get yelled at, I'm going to play this song as I know Blinks likes it. No, Blinks is upset. No. <laughs> I've never seen it. Okay, I got to play this song before I reach out. <laughs> Discord movie night? Should we do that? <laughs> Thank you. 
I want to do that one more time without the track because I almost have it memorized and then I just miss some. Also, I'm so late to saying thank you, but for Rat Hole, thank you so much. I mean, oh wait, I'm trying to match. I guess he's looking that way. I missed it up. Oh, dear. For eye blinks, I feel like I played so, I played like at least five fart notes. So I feel like that should be less. Thank you. I was like, how can I make this next statement clever to like be cool? But I'm not good at that, damn it. So I'm just going to say thank you and not try and be cool. They were pretty good fart notes. I blinks, thank you for... 2,500, no, 20, oh my god, wait, 25,000? That's a lot. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And I didn't even finish my, thank you for rat hole. Rat hole, also thank you. Um, oh, you have emotes now for Murdoch. Um, when I hit a bad note, sometimes I call them a fart note. Or you could, or you could use ear blood, and I'll say sorry. I gave you ear blood. Um, I I try. I'd keep this channel PG. Like I'd say ninety nine percent of the time, like definitely much more than I think what's kind of expected on Twitch. But when I first started streaming, I was teaching uh, a lot of younger students, and I didn't want them to go online and like see me say something and be like, I saw Miss Joe say that, but. Also, in general, I kind of don't try to swear that much in general. And by having that barrier set on the channel, I found that it kind of stops a lot of problems before they start. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like it's kept chat to be really a safe, lovely place. I know it frustrates some people, but it's so worth it to me when some people are like, my daughter's watching or something like that. And I'm like, yay. I'm so glad I didn't say something horrible. <laughs> Or like they didn't read something in chat. But yeah, when I play bad notes, I'll say I'm sorry I gave you ear blood. Or sometimes call it a fart note. While I am a PG channel, I will say I I do have an affinity for bathroom humor, which I just don't think I can change. It's it's how I've always been. And I've never grown out of it. Unfortunately. Mozart did fart notes too? Or are you just saying he just farted? Again, I like to do double stops to check my intonation. I should read his letters. That would actually sound like something I'd like to read. I'll look into that. That's catalogical. That's my master's degree.
your blood. Hmm. Better bow contact. Welcome, Crexy. One thing Julia taught me in a lesson, uh, my teacher, who's also a violinist here on stream that you should absolutely check out. She's amazing, which is why I asked her to be my teacher. But she was talking about how, like, when you start a note, that by changing the speed of your vibrato halfway through it, or maybe starting without vibrato and then bringing in slowly and then making it, like, really, really fast and short can really add a lot of emotion so especially for these songs which I've played so many times and are like so iconic in the video game world I really want to try and uh whenever I do those to like think of her teachings when I am doing songs like that that I'm really comfortable with um so with that being said why don't I try and do Tifa's theme too this one I know I have memorized I almost always play a couple fart notes over Aerith's theme, but Tifa's, I feel like I have. I was thinking tomorrow on stream, I might write out the harmonies live with you guys. I don't know if you'd be interested in that. if I can change the speed of my vibrato mid-note to add emotion.
yeah, you can hear there's so many other pretty layers of strings in this. So I thought maybe it'd be fun if I do a, a brief transcription moment on stream tomorrow. Like here. The horn. Because this is one of my most played songs ever on the channel, so like, what if I did it with like a new harmony and things like that? It'd be kind of fun. Uh, for Us Indy, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Uh, my name's Joe, and I play over video game soundtracks. And I also make loop arrangements and sing on top of them. For Indie, if there's something I can play for you, just let me know. I would love to. I'll put that song list in chat for you. We have already almost been going three hours. The heck? I know I still have... For Only a Shadow, could I put this one on like... Could I do this maybe tomorrow or a different day on stream? I feel like my voice might not be able to do How Soon Is Now right now. And I admit I had a four hour rehearsal today right before stream, so I think my brain's just kind of ear bloody. <laughs> or if there's another one you want me to do today and then I could do this for you a different stream this week, if you're still here. Um, I will say for me, y'all, I'm gonna take one more quick break and come back with just only a short amount more of music. Um, play some Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I can do both of them if you want because I made you pick a different one. So I can totally do that for you. Um, pushing off is no good because then I will just request them again. No, the thing is I actually do really want to do this one, but I think also I'm worried that my neighbors with me yelling this one, this is probably vocally one where I push myself the most <laughs> and it is kind of late. Given my neighbors are super chill though about me making music at all hours of the day, I'm really, really fortunate for my neighbors. They're so nice. Um. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break, and when we come back, I'm going to do uh, my Baldur's Gate 3 transcriptions for you. I'll start with, um, I'll start with Last Light, and then do Bard Dance, and then I'll do a couple more after that, if that sounds good for everybody. Uh, again, you guys, thank you so much. It's my first stream back after a week. I was feeling kind of nervous about going live after a break, but I'm really happy. I feel really good about the the uh, Mario one that I put together earlier. That was really fun. I might try that again this week to try and lock it in. But yeah, everybody, again, just thank you. I will be back in just a couple minutes. I'm just going to drink some water and use the restroom. Love you all. Thank you.
going to believe this. The second I went on break, I got a call and I think I got another Irish gig. And this one's, I got a, yeah, I think it's gonna happen. That is so cool. Manifesting what I want. Oh, I, I went kind of crazy last week when I took my time off of Twitch to learn all the material for the Celtic thing. I mean, look at it. Like I did this in a week. I did all of that in a week. I went crazy and it paid off. I'm so happy, man. And I tried the new stuff on Twitch. I mean, given it's not exactly like super new, you know, like me trying to put together uh, something without a plan, but I'm at least allowing myself to do it more. Um, I'm practicing with my foot looper. This is so good. Hard work pays off. I don't like this message. <laughs> oh. Like it could maybe lead to like a residency. Uh, so a residency with music is when you get booked for like a period of time, you know, like maybe like a month's worth or two or more where you just come back like at the end of the month or something. And you know, I'll probably just make tips or something like nothing major from it, but it's at least another step. And that makes me really happy. And don't you worry, while I'm building up all these other things, I am still intending on trying to grow this project here like as much as possible and and fighting to keep my place here on Twitch and keep myself relevant. But it's nice seeing that the stuff outside of here might also have a chance to. Um, I'm also working on finalizing the website for the merch this week. I feel like I'm ready to finally roll it out. So there's lots of really good stuff coming. <sighs> okay. If it's okay with you guys, I think I'm gonna make these two my last songs for the night, uh, the Baldur's Gate ones. Uh, again, I, I just had a really long rehearsal before this and I don't wanna push myself too hard. For Blocka, you came in when I had like the biggest, dopiest smile, which is I know what you like to see. <laughs> So I'm glad you got to see it. It's good to see you. How are you? Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's do these Baldergate songs and then and then rate us a friend. Oh, I have two tracks at the same time. That's no good. Oh, kimchi. I guess he went downstairs in my excitement. I probably woke him up. <laughs> Pause. Okay.
He was so close. That ends our poll. I, I, my heart goes out to the people that lost their team good boy points. I really thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna pull through and be a good boy tonight. But he did the no-nos. He did the bad boy. He jumped on the piano next to the violin. I congratulate those who won their points and, and my heart goes out for those who lost yours. But luckily, tomorrow will be a new day. Oops. And we'll see. We'll see. You know, maybe maybe he'll consider being a uh, being good boy tomorrow. Very sad. This is truly a tragedy. But uh, here's a happy song. <laughs> This will be our last one tonight, then I'm going to raid someone. I love y'all. I can't believe he did that. more comfortable with that one <laughs> I even got a hop in there for you I don't usually hop in that one I'll have to find a good spot for it but hey if I keep getting these Irish gigs maybe I'll be a hopping pro I might even consider bringing my uh, you guys can't see it but long time viewers of the channel know what this is down here Maybe I could bring my suitcase kick drum while I do it. And the guitarist is all like, could be pretty dope. Um. Anyway, everybody, thank you for such a warm and wonderful welcome back. I I really can't thank you enough. I'm really really pushing myself. I mean, I'm always pushing myself, as you guys know, but. I'm really pushing myself to f keep working towards doing what makes me feel like I got
Oh dear. Oh my god. Uh, uh. I'm trying to be more creative with my thank yous. Uh This is the worst thank you I've ever given. <laughs> hey, I've never known how to play that. Now I can. Thanks not only for uh, that, Blinks. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you. So much, thank you. I hope you liked my stupid, uh, thank you. Can I bluegrassify Tifa scene for you? in a brand new sub i'm just being like a total dork at this point everyone's being really nice <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> thank you thank you so much peak violin performance oh you mean this the G. Um, for the cow who plays bass, you're a brand new sub. I, I was gonna have that be my last song. Is there maybe something, lady? Did I get it? I didn't have OBS open. Is there some? Maybe I could have you ask for the last song. If you like Final Fantasy, I know Blinks does for seven or ten. But I usually play a song to thank everybody for when they sub to the channel. And you're a brand new one, and that's super nice, especially when I was just uh, doing a failed version of the Balookeries. Hoagie! Hoagie, 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 hoagie. Damn it. So, okay, that's just spelling out a C chord, I guess. Um, Hoagie, thank you. Y'all. Oh, and we got a raid. Well, these are all enough reasons to do one more song. And Blinks just did an epic show of generosity. So why don't we do, um, let's do just Xanderkin. I'm like, I've been testing a couple of the Final Fantasy ones to see if I have them memorized. I feel like I have Erythine, Tifasim, and Xanderkin. So maybe I can have another little side quest for myself to see if I can memorize as many of the Final Fantasy stuff as possible. Eventually the whole repertoire that I have, ideally, but one thing at a time, right? <laughs> Thank you guys. <gasps> for Nova Jean, hi. Hey, friendly reminder. I promise that you can do anything that you want if you work really hard and put your mind to it. I know sometimes it can be really hard and it will feel like it's too hard, but I promise if you really want to do something, you can do it and take it from me because I thought I'd never be able to do this stuff, but I worked really hard. And I hope you're just having the best time. Your dad seems really nice. Or daughter. Or, I mean, mom. I'm, I'm trying not to assume genders anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. 
Snape will slay. Nova's such a cool name. Okay, let's do this for the top. I just want to say hi to Nova. See if she's really cool. For Murdoch, if you put an at like this uh, before their name, then it will tag them in it. <gasps> I have to do it. If the song comes on, I have to play it. Okay, this is the last one. I freaking love this song. And I might have another Irish gig, so this is perfect. All right, last song, and you guys better hop with me all over this. Well, you don't better. That sounds like a threat. I have an emote of Hup, and it's fun to do in Irish music. Oh, I gotta find it before ah, the violin comes in. Got it. Let's go. I am put myself.
eventually we're gonna get a version of me doing the penny whistle and that. I'm pushing myself too hard. I'm just having so much fun. But again, like, that's what I was really hoping to return to tonight on Twitch, you guys, after my break. So thank you so much. I feel like I'm going to get back to feeling like how I did when I first started doing this, which was just, like, only motivated and excited. I, I got to leave a, I shouldn't say only, I should leave space for other feelings because obviously with any line of work, there's going to be all the feels. But anyway, I'm rambling uh, for Murdoch. Thank you. I have one of those. I just uh, uh, need to remember these are the best. I got the keys of C and D. And it, again, now that I'm getting better at my Celtic stuff, I'm probably going to be able to whip these out of my gig. I never want to use that phrase ever, whip these out. That felt horrible. Anyway, let's look at who we want to rave. Uh, Murdoch, I'm very grateful that, that you found, that you enjoyed the stream. And Nova, I hope you like dancing to that one. Uh, Yogi, welcome. All right, y'all. Let's find someone to raid. So... Let's see. How about we raid a Fedo a Fedo a Fed a fellow Jeez, fiddler. That was like the hardest two words I've ever said back to back. Um, we're gonna raid Num the Geek. He is so nice, and he's so sweet and talented, and he's fun to raid too because sometimes he doesn't look at chat until the song ends, so he'll be like, wait, what happened? And we'll be like, hey, finger guns. All right, I need to sign off before I start being too much of a geek. Oh my god, I spelled it wrong. Um, for anyone who's new tonight, thank you for giving my channel a chance. I really appreciate it. I'm live four days a week, and if you enjoyed the stream, I hope you consider following and coming back sometime. I'm always adding new stuff to the list and working hard to try and earn and earn your views and your respect. Uh, Zeri, thank you. And I will be live tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time, Thursday 3 p.m. and Friday at 10 a.m. Everybody, thank you again so, so much. And I just hope you have the most lovely evening. I'm going to go cuddle that cat. He clearly needs some more attention. Mr. Kimchi. All right, everybody. Bye.